Dirty, disgusting, and despicable. Hotel guests are speaking out about what they say are filthy conditions at the Ramada Inn in Independence. Five on your side investigator Sarah Budison is live outside that hotel tonight, and Sarah, guests there are furious. That's actually putting it lightly, Tracy. The people we talked to, more than a dozen guests who are staying here at the Ramada, right off I-77, say that inside their rooms, they found stained sheets, dirty towels, and dead bugs. All of this is in my room, in my window. This is horrible. This place is an absolute shithole. This is totally unacceptable. Oh my God. One after another. And the room was atrocious. After another. What do you think of the place? Any it tell. Guests at the Ramada in Independence told us their hotel rooms are in terrible condition. This is a hot garbage mess. I have pictures to prove it. It's horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. I got up and opened the curtains. I'm about passed out. I'm like, it. no. They're overwhelmed, understaffed, and that's everything that's going on in this place. But when manager Elizabeth White oh, walked out, she yes. told us a very different story. There's been a couple minor housekeeping issues, nothing serious. Blame it on the government, uh, stimulus, unemployment. No one wants to work. I didn't see any issues as far as feces or mold, nothing like that. Yeah, they're lying to you, promise. So I went to check in. Uh, while I was checking in, customers were coming out already talking about they wanted the refund because the rooms were dirty and not cleaned. I went to check in. Uh, they said, well, you booked a king suite. We don't have any rooms cleaned. Do you want to downgrade for the same price? I said, no, get, I said, just give me my information back and left. There was rats in my room. There was still throw up in the toilet. The hotel was used as a homeless shelter until just last week to house people during the pandemic. The room was atrocious. They moved us to another room that was worse. Everything has been deplaned. Owner Sharif Omara also says it's been hard to find staff to clean it up. Why have we talked to more than a dozen people tonight who say that your hotel is dirty, unclean, and they are unable to stay and don't want to? I mean, it's a housekeeping issue that could happen in any hotel with the short of staff and the labor market happening now. Will customers be reimbursed? Yeah, of course. If we need to do that, we do it. If not, we deep clean the rooms. Because it's not only about money, about business. It's about human connection. This place is a hot garbage mess, so I absolutely, I absolutely need to call the health department. The 30, 40, or 50 people that was down here with me last night and this morning talking about the filth. The customers we talked to who are staying here say so far, Amara has refused to give them their money back. And by the way, many of them are still staying here tonight because they say they looked everywhere and all the hotels in the area are already booked. Live in Independence, I'm Five on Your Side investigator, Sarah Budison.